What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, although Marvel Studios hasn't done a huge onstage presentation now and for quite some time, they've been quietly announcing things here through the end of the year and since the actors and writers strike resolved. They had a theater-sized, very, very small presentation of the first couple of episodes of What If and announced some projects for next year coming to Disney+. Plus. We already covered that at the channel. What other announcements they've made have come through the Hollywood trades, even huge announcements like dropping John the Majors as Kang showed up as a Hollywood trade headline in every place you could imagine instead of having an official announcement on behalf of a representative for Marvel Studios or Disney. Now we've actually had some other key pieces of information come out via those Hollywood trades, one of which we reported on two weeks ago here at the channel that it wasn't merely and simply reshoots that they were doing for Captain America Brave New World, but rather they had hired an additional writer to rewrite those scenes. And at the time, while the article passed it off as normal, there have been a ton of rumors about exactly why they've been reshooting those scenes and just how bad the film was in certain parts. We will talk about that during this video, but we want to focus on the newest rumors for specific scenes with what's going on with Captain America Falcon, a breaking news story today and an update for his suit, also what's going on with Harrison Ford's Red Hulk, and sort of look towards the end of the film and forward into the MCU. We'll issue a light spoiler warning when we get there. We're breaking down all the latest news, rumors, and updates as they pertain to the latest scoops for Captain America Brave New World, what the reshoots are all about, and what they're going to focus on now with a new iteration of the film. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is tomorrow. You've got one more chance to be entered to win before we announce a winner for the What If finale that just went live today. Again, that video will run tomorrow. Just be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so to catch you up to speed because we actually didn't have a chance to cover this in a video. The news cycle was absolutely chalked with what was going on with Loki for that week and we did not cover this video. The initial rumors about why Captain America Brave New World was originally delayed and being sent to reshoots all focus around what's going on with the action sequences in the film. And again, this is just rumor mill territory, not confirmed or released by the trades. But according to certain industry insiders, in response to pre-screenings either internally or for the public, apparently the action sequences were not up to par. Or rather, when you compare them to previous Captain America movies, they just didn't have the same shine and the same impact. And it was even said that perhaps didn't even focus on Sam Wilson's cap in the way you would expect for a Captain America film. These, of course, were the reports as soon as we were finding out that Captain America was to be delayed. And while we were surprised that the film was initially going to be pushed back an entire year from a 2024 to a 2025 release, especially when it was the only film during 2023 that was said to have finished its principal photography before the strikes, after hearing these rumors and some others about the current state of the film, we were not surprised when the official headline broke again two weeks ago that they were hiring another writer and that this may be a little deeper of surgery than just some surface reshoots to add a couple of scenes. That's where we pick up today with the reporting over the last week with several details coming out for both Red Hulk and Sam Wilson's cap and even the end of the film, which again, I'll issue the lightest of spoiler warning before we get to that rumor. First up, and as regards to the Red Hulk, it's been indicated that during these action sequences, he will give off heat and fire the same way he did in the comics. And in fact, his fire is gonna be hot enough to melt the vibranium wings that Sam Wilson's cap is rocking. And you guys know Sam Wilson is not an enhanced individual in any way, no super soldier serum. He has no superpowers. So if his wings get melted, then presumably his shield, which is also made out of vibranium, well, unless it's made out of something else, which might end up being a plot line for this film, would also melt, meaning he would definitely need a tech upgrade. That's where we're hearing today in the latest and breaking for Sam Wilson's tech upgrades during this film, that he'll actually go from having a pair of goggles to a full-on vibranium helmet with the idea of making him a little more sustainable in air fights, maybe something you would want to see out of the extensive reshoots that they're planning on doing. Now, this is where I will sort of kick in that lightest of spoiler warning. And Keep in mind, this is just rumors, but it's coming from industry insiders who've had a track record of being right in the past. So if you want to go into the unknown, not knowing, saying you don't want to hear right now about the possible ending final battle for the film, now would be the time to back out. It's been indicated by My Time to Shine Hello, the trusted industry insider, anonymous Twitter scoopster, and again, someone who has a proven track record over the last couple of years, that the last final battle for the film between Sam Wilson's cap, who's ever on his side, and the Red Hulk will actually take place 
at the White House. And from that scoop that he tweeted out, sort of made it sound or implied that Red Hulk, President Ross, would actually die at the end of the film. Now, since then, that's sort of been refuted in a couple of other scoops that made it sound like they may just imply that he died, or rather that's what the public is told, but maybe he's still in the MCU. But we've heard from several sources we trust that he is not a part of the upcoming Thunderbolts, and you could imagine that there would be a limit, at least to what Harrison Ford would be wanting to do as far as his involvement. I just think from the outside looking in, the same way Christian Bale did it with a one-off as Gore the God Butcher, might be a lot easier to have convinced Harrison Ford to play Red Hulk if he knew it was only for a one film commitment. That being said, it sounds like these major reshoots that they're rewriting, these parts of the action sequences, are for the best because those rumors that I covered at the beginning of this video for context or right after the prologue, those were the updates coming from industry insiders like Daniel Rickman and Jeff Snyder who sort of take the same approach I do. It's sort of down the middle and a little more academic than sort of selling the drama with how bad things can be. But there are other channels and other reporters who took this reporting about these rumors and the state of the film a lot further and made it sound like the film was an absolute mess and a disaster. You guys know me and that's not normally the kind of content I do at the channel and that's probably another reason that I skipped over these stories. Again, some of this broke right towards the end of Loki season two in the last three weeks and there were just other things to focus on. Then we had the X-Men reveals coming in the Marvels. But what I will say is that from the outset, this film has really seem to not have a sense of itself. Yeah, we know it's called Captain America Brave New World, but all of the reports have focused on Hulks, either returning storylines from the initial Incredible Hulk film or the addition of Harrison Ford as Thunderbolt Ross and now the Red Hulk. So much to do in a storyline that was supposed to focus on Sam Wilson's Cap, not to mention the introduction of other superheroes we know are coming during that film. I just would have imagined from the beginning this film would have been a headache to try to make with all of this and make sense. And I hope at the end of the day, they've waded through all the stuff with the Serpent Society, Thunderbolt Ross's Red Hulk, and boiled it down to really the best stuff and focus on them during the action sequences. And I also want to get back to the days of Marvel where they had huge action sequences in almost every act, the beginning of act one, act two, and act three. But you guys let me know down below in the comments exactly what you want to see from this and you got any ideas about how a non-enhanced Sam Wilson's Captain America is going to take down Red Hulk? I have some ideas I want to talk about in future theory videos, but the MCU might have already set up the Easter eggs for this, uh, and one theory I've been working on is absolutely nuts. We'll get there, but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right. We are still giving away PlayStation 5s here at the channel. The next one is literally tomorrow to coincide with What If Sunali that went live today. If you want to be entered to win, it's super simple. All you got to do be a subscriber, so hit the sub button, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced at the end of videos live with my voice and the comments shown on screen. It'll be that case tomorrow. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, all platforms with original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.